I'd like to call up uh, the participator filmmakers that were involved in the project. I saw some of them sneak in and then in the back, but first I'll call up, uh, well, I'll call up Merv Jones first. Merv Jones directed afterwards, as well as did um, acting um, in a couple of films. I uh, called Matt Shield, one of the writer directors. Oh. Hey. What's going on here? This is on camera, you know. Both guys, my friend. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to just pretend I didn't see it. And uh, I also noticed Keith Ainsworth, who just directed the last film, Chuggers, come in the room. So if you could come up here. Clapping is always good. And uh, as far as actors, can I call in Adam Vinton, who's very shy, but I saw him hide in the back, so if he could come up and join us. And um, also, Letitia Grant, you know, I know you did behind <laughs> the camera and everything like that. Hi. And everything. Um, but um, you come up, John, you take the camera from her, please. Yeah. Oh. Great. And uh, so these are the uh, participating uh, members of uh, MSI. Uh, so if we can give them another round of applause, please. So uh, just as a form of uh, Q&A, as we've already explained in the beginning, you know, there's uh, several more of us. I mean, these are only 12 of the films that we actually um, put together. Um, and uh, this is our first showcasing of the film. So um, even for some of the filmmakers and actors and writers, uh, the first time they've actually seen it on the screen. So that would be the first question I'll go around and uh, asking people. So, uh, so I'll start with Keith. You know, uh, Keith, who directed Chuggers, the last film, which was amazing, and it was written by uh, Matt Schill, and also you acted in uh, Old Habits. So, uh, would you like to just give your thoughts about seeing the film for the first time? I just think it's uh, very strange, like Old Habits. I was finishing off the edit last night on my little computer monitor on Premiere, and it's not that big, and suddenly come here tonight, and it, it looks brilliant on a big, huge screen. So, uh, just, you know. It's great to see it all and see them all run together. I think all the films have really come together and uh, it's all looking brilliant. Mm -hmm. Well, from your perspective, wait a minute, one more question. From yeah. your perspective, could you just say, like, you know, in your involvement, um, you came in to MSI and then you were offered the opportunity not just to act but also to direct. Is this your first film? Sure. Um, I got involved with MSI through Matt. Um, and Matt's a very talented writer who wrote quite a few of the ones we've seen tonight. Um, and because I'm a photographer and filmmaker, and um, we just what's great about it is we've been involved in writers' groups before, but writers' groups can go in circles mm. and not really produce any sort of end results. So it was great to, you know, Chase and Matt and everybody else getting together and say, right, we want to get together, we want to give ourselves a target, we want to book some venues, we want to get a bunch of films together, and it's to our uh, it's a great credit that in a very short space of time we've, yeah. we've got all the films that you've seen tonight. Yeah. Well, in handing that over to Matt, you heard, well, you've heard from Matt already. Huh? Yeah. You've heard from Matt already tonight, but now as a writer, because uh, you've written um, two of the pieces, and as a director you uh, had directed um, Old Habits, so can you tell from your perspective, because as you already introduced that, it came from your brain, so how is it to see it all come together for Rissen? It's all my fault, I did my favorite thing. It was great because... Sorry, that's me. Is that you? Uh, it was great because it's the first time I've seen all of them in a row, and it's also great to uh, see what you've done. Okay. On the big screen, uh, as Keith was saying, I've seen it on a, on a, on a small uh, monitor type thing. So it's great to see um, the variety of, of styles and, and stories. And that's really what the MSI is about, because we're, we're script uh, focused, is, is the, there's a bit of comedy there, a bit of darkness. And uh, I think it's only a bit. Only a bit of darkness. And uh, 
But it, it's great because I, I really enjoyed it. And the idea of making filmmakers, and, and I hope uh, some of you out there are, are filmmakers as well, because we're the guys, you're the guys we want to get to chat to, is, is actually getting it made, as, as Keith said, uh, you know, writing is great fun and making films is great fun, but at the end of the day, you want to see on the, on a screen because all of us are all hoping to get picked up by Hollywood and get paid millions. That's why we're all doing it. Um, but it also, just to get to see with an audience with people who, who we don't know, and that's why it's great to come to Manchester and 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 see your your reactions. And I did hear a few laughs at the right place, which is good. <laughs> okay. Oh no, thanks, man. So Letitia, you know, launching us off tonight. Um, one of our youngest members of MSI, as you can see, some have gray hairs and some don't. And uh, so how was it for you to actually um, see your film up on a big screen and uh, being involved in the process of MSI? Um, well, it was actually brilliant. Um, I actually come from London and then went to university in Liverpool and now I'm here in Manchester. So I feel like I've, it was literally literally the same as coming from London. It was, it's was it been such a journey. I mean, um, that documentary was just part of a university um, assignment, but it just turned out that it opened up to this and it opened up to also producing and helping out with other films within the MSI. I think like, um, it helped me realise you have to get involved with your local community no matter where you are to do what what you want to do and there's no barrier really. You can just take a camera and do whatever you want to, literally because I had no idea what I was doing. I really didn't and thankfully I had a really good friend I knew before, Ryan Fallon, who like um, edited it and filmed it and he was brilliant everyone else. Even the MSI letting me interview them as well. Thanks, because <laughs> they've been a part, part of it. But to see it on screen was a really humbling experience, and I hope to take it further. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity. Oh, thank you. Well, um, I'll come to Merv last because you know he likes to, he, he does his like thing on along. So if you hand that over to uh, Adam, Adam, as one of our actors, um, you know, you were in Boom, you were in uh, Afterwards, as well as you were in uh, Chuggers and you're in one of the films that are still being finished or you about to enter that saving a life so uh can you just tell us like your your introduction into msi and how does it feel uh, to see yourself on the screen um well horrible um so I, I hate watching myself um but i enjoyed the films that um i wasn't in <laughs> that's nice all right well we're gonna head to but, but they're all lovely people <laughs> <laughs> All right, but okay, besides that though, I mean, how does it feel the process? Because I know we went through several different conversations because, you know, as a job and actor and everything, you know, you were kind of like, do I have to audition and, you know, and how do I get involved and step in? So how did that feel for you, you know, to kind of come um, and be involved in four films? Um, Grace, the, um, there wasn't much competition. Um, I, I was the only male. Under 40. Uh, hey, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. um, Thanks, Adam. You can tell this is not rehearsed. Um, okay, so Merv. Uh, <laughs> my man Merv. All right, so Merv, I mean, you know, you already know how talented you are and everything else like that, but. Uh, really? He's <laughs> next, look at him and tell. <laughs> Um, as an actor, funny. I mean, Rofield, uh, what a treat. And you're also in a new film that is being edited right now, Female of the Species. And, but if you could tell us about, you know, directing afterwards, and you're about to direct your next film, um, Close Shot. Well, um, I, it's funny actually, because during the, the sessions when we have the, the reading out the scripts and everyone kind of rips them apart and says, oh, I love this, and you thought about that, and maybe a few spaceships here and there or whatever. Um, to be honest with you, that night, not things were being read out that weren't just speaking, weren't, weren't leaping out at me, and and then all of a sudden this script came along, um, looking at the subject of the after effects of child sexual abuse, and that really hit home with me because of my background in, in theatre, and also my background is also I'm an ex full time youth worker and an ex social worker as well, and it felt very realistic. I mean, I've worked in children's homes, and I've I've, I've met. Countless, sadly, uh, I don't want to use the word victims, but I'm going to use it right now. Countless victims of the, that horrible, horrible, the worst possible sort of acts that you could possibly think of. So it felt very real, and, I, and my biggest concern was that not that nobody else could do it, but nobody else really knows that world. 
you know, I hope not anyway. So, and I can bring everything that I brought to it from my professional experience, but also from my theatrical experience, because I actually felt it was also a very actor-driven piece as well. So when we, you know, got together, I mean, I spoke with, I met with Adam, I met with Adam, we, we sat and chatted for about, what, two hours? Just for the two hours, and um, I don't believe in the audition process. I, I, actually, my approach is to interview actors, first and foremost, because I know there's got to be some sort of connection somewhere that I can work with, okay, uh, regardless of the part or whatever. And uh, I know Adam actually